It's Saturday, the 23rd, and you already know, it's FSU game day. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I am starting a new series on this channel. Well, it's not really a new series because I used to do it before. On my old channel on our sneakers, I used to do this thing called Sneakerhead Weekends where I would let sneakerheads post their sneaker collections on my channel. And I know, like, I'm not a huge channel, so their channel's not going to get that big. Or even if somebody just wants to share their channel, like, they're not going to get out that much. The only reason I'm doing this is because I used to be a small YouTuber. I used to have a small channel and I wanted to grow. I wanted to find a way to grow faster. And I always wanted to make it on Crew Kicks. I was just never fortunate enough to make it on Crew Kicks. I don't know why I never made it. Probably because I had a weak collection. Who knows? There was probably a bunch of entries too, so I had like a really high competition. But on this channel, you don't got that much competition. So for those smaller channels, they don't got to worry. You will gain a few subscribers here and there if your content is good, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that if you post good content, even though it's a weak collection, then you will gain subscribers. But if it's like a great collection, but you have like really bad content and it doesn't like really flow that well, then you most likely will not gain subscribers. So that's just a tip for those people that want to send in submissions. If you want to send in your submissions, all you gotta do is email me. Email me at the email down in the description below. It's all the way at the bottom. It says business inquiries only. Go ahead and send an email to that email saying that you want to be a part of Sneakerhead Weekends. And there will be a sneakerhead for Saturday and there will be a sneakerhead for Sunday. Today, I'm going to start off with doing my collection. I'm not doing my whole collection, as you guys read by the title. I'm only doing my Jordan collection, which is fairly small. Since Jordan has died down a lot, I have not been on them that much. So, it's fairly small. I mean, I got some heat, I think, here and there for a pair of Jordans. You already know what I'm saying? But it's not really, like, all that. Like, I don't got the rare stuff. Like, I don't got the OVOs and all that. So, and if y'all looking for that, well, stay tuned for the rest of the video anyways, because you guys are going to like what you see. But before I continue with that, I do want to say one more announcement, and that is that I'm doing a Yeezy Mask giveaway. All you got to do to enter is go in the description down below. Click on the link next to where it says Yeezy Mask Giveaway, and that's my alarm to wake up. But I woke up so early today just to buy a shirt like this because I knew if I went later, it would have been dumb packed, it would have been dumb traffic, and I was not trying to get it stuck on that. But anyways, like I said, go down in the description, click on the link next to where it says Yeezy Mask Giveaway, follow all those entries, and you do get one entry for everything that you do. And obviously, the more things you do, raises your chances. So go ahead, click on the link, and follow all those entries. To start on my Jordan collection, I think this is the first pair that I got out of all the Jordans that I do have, and it is this Jordan 3. 5 lab 3 or 3 lab 5 i forgot the exact name of it but it is the one that has it is like completely reflective and i'll show you guys that on camera i honestly love these shoes when they came out i did not like the gray ones at all you can't really see it you're not even with the light shining on it but yeah they are reflective and unfortunately i don't really like them anymore i love threes like i love a lot of jordans i just don't like the way they look on my feet and threes they just look so bulky it's literally almost the size of my head guys that's how big the shoe is that's how bulky it is the only shoe I would cop would be the Black Cement 3s, which were rumored to release in 2018. So I think that was a rumor. I'm not too sure. I don't take my word for that. But I think that's what I heard. And that's a fact. And I'm definitely going to cop that shoe because Black Cement 3s are my favorite 3s. They're actually one of my favorite Jordans of all time. That's why I kind of like the Jordan 3, especially this one. I mean, this one, like I said, I like this one over the white one or the gray one. The gray one's just ugly. This one's black. You can basically wear it with anything. But I don't really like it. As you can tell, I don't wear them that much since there are icing on the bottoms. If y'all want to cop, let me know. I might just sell it. I probably will most likely sell it to you. It's size 8, so hit me up if you're looking to cop this one because I kind of don't want it in my collection. I don't really wear it, so I might as well just sell it. Next up is a shoe that I've been wanting forever. I remember this shoe was so rare back in the day. Everybody always wanted it, and I know I always wanted it. I just could never get my hands on it because they were so expensive and they're so limited and they were just so rare. Well, at the moment, they were rare. Now, they're just all over the market, but the newer ones are. The older ones are very rare. I don't know if you guys can guess the shoe, but if you guys can't guess it by now, it is the Jordan 11 Space Jam with the number 45 on the back. It is the most recent release of last year, 2016 December, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was December, to be honest. This shoe is just so freaking clean. Like, you cannot go wrong with a Space Jam 11. This is a classic shoe. It's from the movie. It's just... The shoe is so nice, you cannot, like, it's, I don't know what just makes it flow so good. It's like you got the black, and then you got the blue Jumpman right there. Looking, like, a little bit purplish, but not too much. Um, they're real, though, don't don't get that mistaken. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I do like the icy blue more than the clear back in the day. I don't know, I think it just looks more clean. And it also, just, like I said, it matches a Jumpman. The 45, I liked it at first, because the first ones that come out with the number 45 were the sample ones. And then... They just generally released these basically and everybody got them. And I know a lot of people slept on these, but if you did sleep on them, you you messed up because people thought these weren't gonna sell out, but I knew they were gonna sell out because they're a classic. They're a Space Jam 11. It's like a Concord 11. If those were to be released, they would sell out immediately. Doesn't matter how many pairs are out there. Next up in the collection is gonna be just a whole bunch of Jordan ones. And to start that off, it is this one right here. I just forgot the name of it. 
uh, I don't want to say Chicago ones, but they're not. They're actually black toe ones. These I do kind of like. What I don't like about it is the leather. It's not as nice as the breads, the shattered backboards, or the other. I forgot which ones have like that nice like pig skin leather. I forgot the name of that leather, but it's so nice. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys are true sneakerheads. The leather on this one is just so stiff. And I think I messed up by putting the red laces. I should put the black ones on. I think it'll pop more. I mean, this does make it pop more. It just doesn't look nice. It looks like it's too much because you have like too much red. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and put the black ones on later on when I have time because, you know, you guys know I don't have time. Right now, I do have time because it's Saturday and it's game day and I don't work until after the game. But I will do that sometime when I have time, like I said. Next up on the list is these right here. These are the royal ones. I really did not want these at first because I don't like the color blue. I really don't rock with the color blue. You will hardly ever see me wearing this color except it's on my feet and it will be this shoe exactly. Like there's no other shoe I have that has that color except like the Ronnie Fi collab. It's like some, I don't know. It was a Ronnie Fi collab with A6 and they were like light blue, probably the only other blue I wear. These are fire, but they're not fire. They're fire because the history behind them, they are the royal ones. Like everybody knows the history behind them, which are like the bread ones. These are the classic. I had to get them. I could not just, I could not skip out on them, even though I don't really like the color. And I did put these laces on, which I'm probably just gonna make them black again. Cause like I said, I think it's just too much with the laces. Let me know in the comments down below. Should I keep them black or should I keep them like this? And also with the black toe, should I keep them black or should I keep them red? Staying on the classic shoes. Of course you already know the next one I'm gonna show you guys is the bread ones. These aren't even the bread ones. These are the band ones. And that's what makes it so much more meaningful to me. Unfortunately, there's no X on them like the original band ones, but they are still considered the band ones, bread ones. A mixture of the two because it does have the X, but there's no X here. It does have the X on the inside, and they are considered the band ones. This classic shoe, like I said once again, the colorway is perfect, black, red, and white. You can't go wrong with that. Original colors for Jordan, black, red, and white are obviously the Chicago Bulls color, and it's just a really fire combination of colors, so you really cannot go wrong with this. This shoe means so much to me because I really wanted it at one time, and I had it in cart, but then I fell asleep when I had it in cart because this is when I had a bot back in the day, and then I lost it from the cart, and then I woke up from my little nap waiting for the drop to happen. The next thing I know, I couldn't check out, and I was bummed out. And I was really bummed out, I'm not gonna lie. That's how much this shoe meant to me. And now that I finally have it in my collection, it just means so much. Second to last shoe is this one right here. It is the Jordan Top 3. Obviously, it is the Jordan Royals, or the Jordan Chicago's, or Black Toes, and then the Jordan Breads. I'm not exactly sure of the mixture. It's the Chicago ones, the Bread ones, and also the Royal ones. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. This shoe is just fire. It's like a what the one. I remember when they first talked about it, I was so scared I was not gonna get it, but I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy to get this shoe. You know, I don't even know this shoe is fire. This is also another shoe that I would wear with blue on it because it is obviously the top three. It just, it's just a fire combination. And if you do this, it looks like a fragment one. Last but not least, I would have to say this is my favorite Jordan one just because it is the most buttery, like cleanest shoe I have of that Jordan one. The reason being is the leather and the color and they just, Jordan brand snap with this shoe, I cannot lie, like they snap with this shoe. It is a shattered backboard away or the reverse shattered backboard. You guys got on me so much for saying it's a regular shattered backboard. It really is not that serious guys. You guys know what I meant. This shoe just has so much detail that I love. It's so buttery. The leather on the toe is perfect. The leather right here is perfect. The leather is just all around the shoe is just so soft and nice. It's perfect, like you cannot go wrong with the shoe. The black laces, I did have white ones on them or orange ones, they just didn't look good. It comes with two pairs of laces, I think, and I had the other ones on them, I didn't like them, so I went back to black. And obviously the detail inside this shoe, you do have the shattered backboard in there, you guys can see the lines and the backboard right there. This is what I like about shoes, like, this is why I like it, because they have so much detail. And this shoe just has all that in it, every little thing. They, this It's like they actually took their time with this shoe. Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps up the video for today. I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, but before I do so, I'm gonna tell you guys how you guys can become a fan of the day. All you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and once you do, make sure you comment notification squad on my latest video. And once you do that, if you're one of the first people, then you will have the chance to become fan of the day for the next video. Oh, by the way, we just hit 16K, yo, what's up? Shout out to y'all. Anyways, today's fan of the day goes to Neon Gamer. Big shout out to you, bro. You did just enter the giveaway for the month of September, and that giveaway will end on the end of this month, just like the regular giveaway for the mask that I have. And then I'll announce the winners. I will most likely announce the winners in two separate videos, just so it's not confusing for you guys. Anyways, guys, I gotta go edit this video and go out to the game. I gotta go tailgate too, because you know, Florida State, that's how we do. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaky Sign out.